What's up guys and welcome back to another one of my beautiful beautiful videos and today I was looking at YouTube you know scrolling around minding my own business and I noticed that there are two new predator trailers that are out well predator hunting grounds of course so I decided that we should probably take a look at them mostly because I feel like it's gonna have some more insight on gameplay for the predator and the fire team and that's what it said play as predator and the other one was hunt predator or be hunted or something like that so uh, before we do don't forget to like and subscribe because you know i've been posting actually pretty daily since quarantine has been going on mostly because i have nothing better to do but yeah so let's get into it So this first one that we're going to be looking at is actually the fire team. So we're going to see, I guess, how what weapons you can use or something like that, or if they have classes or whatever. Now it says challenging missions, but I don't know how challenging it could possibly be because the AI don't look very advanced or anything, but I'm guessing it just means like do missions while the predator hunts you or whatever. Okay, so it looks like those are two of the missions you could do. You could disrupt terrorist communications or take out drug lords. They seem like pretty decent little mission things you could do, like side missions or whatever while the predator hunts you. Okay, so it says during the trial you could play as these different classes and it's assault, recon, scout, and support. Um, I'm guessing scout is the sniper one. And I don't know what weapons the other ones have because I'm not going to look back because I'm too lazy. But this actually gets me a little hype because that looks really cool. If I'm not mistaken, that looks like the gun you get for pre-ordering the game. So that gets me even more excited. So whenever we play the trial, it'll be pretty dope whenever you get to use pre-order stuff as well. Or at least that's what it looks like because why else would they show the minigun inside of the trailer for the game? but I honestly have no clue. Okay, it looks like they have some sort of battle royale loot crate type system where you run around and you could swap out weapons for little chests or things that you find. That's interesting. I can't wait to see where they go with that because there's a lot of possibilities you could do with that. Like if they were really trying to go more Call of Duty-esque, they could also do something like a wonder weapon or something like that or a special weapon that's rare to get, but it would give you the upper hand on the Predator. So I'm definitely excited for this now. Now before we get off of this, this is a pretty cool looking bio mask. I don't know if it's one of the ones from the trailer from before or if this is just a totally different one because it has that red mark and I really like that. I think it's on the female predator as well and it looks really dope. Okay, I think I like where they're going with the fire team where it's almost like a battle royale in a type way for the loot. And I feel like this is going to be really fun on both as the Predator and as a fire team member. I feel like you'll be able to have a crap ton of fun just looking for weapons as well as trying to get the missions done while trying to stay um, on your toes frosty so if the Predator shows up. But other than that, the fire team looks really great. Already off the bat, the parkour looks so freaking cool as the Predator and I can't wait to hop into a game on the free play and just go ham with it. Okay, so at the bottom there it says hold R1 to leap and hold circle or double tap circle to dismount. So that's interesting. I guess if you're trying to get off really quick, um, then you'd be able to just dismount. I don't know how that's going to work with a combi stick because we did see in the last trailer them flying down with a combi stick and like slamming into them in like a ground pound sense. So I wonder how that's going to work out in the game and of course leap is to hop off of the trees to another one I'm guessing. Okay. 
I do not remember seeing this armor in the latest um, trailers for the other ones. So I'm guessing this is the one the female predator was wearing in the last trailer that we watched for the fire team. Okay, that did a crap ton of damage because the fire team member had like 95 health to start off and he just ended up with 26 health. I guess that's a really good thing, but I'm guessing that they have to be standing still if you want to actually hit them. Because I don't think that you're going to be able to move in the air while you're dropping down on someone. And they have the combo things that you are able to do as you could see in the trailer where you just swing around your combi stick. So I don't know if you're going to be able to do that as soon as you drop down to finish them off as well. This is what I was talking about last video where it has the track with the um, smart disc. Now just imagine that with the Predator's Chakura and how cool that would look flying through the air. Now I am so freaking excited for the free play weekend where I'm going to be able to play as the Predator because that looks so fun. Just picking people off one by one and using the Predator heat vision is going to be so fun. I can't wait to see what the customizable things are and I don't know if we're going to be able to use the stuff that we get when we pre-order. If we're going to be able to actually use it in the free play but I'm guessing because it showed the minigun. But I guess in the end, it's really up to if they want to try to let us flex that we got it already. But besides that, well guys, you did it. You finished the video. Thank you guys so much for hearing my opinion on Predator Hunting Grounds and reacting to the trailer. And it would be generous if you liked and subscribed. Um, and if you don't get off the video, then you will grow an extra toe.